This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals Express course. I'm on Lesson 9, Sticker Art with Loops, Puzzle 5. Now use a loop to spin your bird around 12 times with a 30 degree turn. Oh, cool. All right. So we're going to leave this, but we want to spin our bird around with how many? A 30 degree turn. Hmm. So I'm just going to grab right. It probably won't matter because we w are making a big old circle from what I can tell all the way around. And 30 times 12 is 360. So that would make sense. So 30 degree turn right all the way around. Now this should only do it once. Okay. And we turn at the end. So my bird isn't even uh, drawn over here. Now. How do I do repeat code with the repeat block, right? A loop or a repeat is what I would need to do that. Uh, so I need to hit reset and then repeat. I'm going to drop down, put all of this in repeat. And so now we should draw it not once, not twice, but four times. But they wanted 12. So now it will repeat all this code 12 times. We'll turn 30 degrees. So we're going to jump to here draw a sticker, and then turn 30 degrees, hits the bottom, goes back to the top. Now we're facing a little different angle. We jump back to where we were, still facing that different angle, draw a sticker, and turn a little more. We then jump back to the dead center, turn a little more. All right, so let's give this a try. But, uh... And I'm wondering, we don't actually need to move. So what if, since we're only going to jump once, I think, what if I did this? Let's see if it works. But, uh, and it works the same because we don't need to jump there more than once. We're just going to be turning around. Use the loop. Perfect. Let's keep going. This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals, their express course, lesson nine, stick art with loops, puzzle six. So much fun. Now add a bat sticker right after the bird to make an image like the one below. I can't even, oh my gosh. I'm not sure if that is cool or terrifying or cool terrifying. Maybe all the above. But we're going to make a bat image as well. So let's go ahead and... Is it on top of each other? It looks like the bat is on top of the bird. So in code, it runs in order. So it's we're going to want to draw the bird first and then the bat. Because then we would draw, well, the bat on top of the bird if we already drew the bird. It looks like we're going to draw it in a similar way. Yep. So what I'm going to do is basically do the same thing. I'm going to go look for a repeat. I'm going to say 12 times again because it looked like the same amount of times. I'm going to grab our sticker and we want a bat. Oh, but there's so many good ones. Bat. And then... I'm going to, yeah, I think we're, I'm going to try turning 30 degrees this time as well and see what I get. All right, let's give that a try. So here's the bird loop. And then when this loop runs 12 times, it will run anything below it, which is our bat loop. But, uh... So yeah, keep that in mind. Loops repeat everything inside of them. But once they're done, once I draw a bird sticker and turn right 12 times, it drops below it and would run any code on the next line. What happens to be on the next line is drawing a bat 12 times. That is super cool. <laughs> That's fun. Let's keep going. 